The lighting is very bright. Don't know how I feel about it. Oh my god, don't tell me this now. Another did you spray and did you clean the bowl? Yes and yes! Jesus! You know what to say. Hi! You farted a lot, ate my cereal, and you ate the spoon, and you filmed me. That's all for now. Can you give me a hug? No, <laughs> if you deserve one today. Did you tell me not to fight? Then just fight on my hand. As you would have just seen, I've been down to the pink recovery bars. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you not realise you fired it or something? I did. That's why I stopped. <laughs> but you were still talking. It's not like you stopped too far. You kept talking over it. <laughs> did you come out? Guys, listen to this. <laughs> Don't, you can't show this. <laughs> it's okay. You're not hey, look, we're that. having an amazing day and have had an amazing weekend as well. As you would have just seen, I've been down to the pink recovery <laughs> bars. You ready? Yep. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming a little Q&A for us because I had a few questions on my Instagram like when we first started dating, like how we met and how it all came about considering he's from Adelaide and I'm from Melbourne. So just wanted to do a little fun video with him. He looks ecstatic. <laughs> I keep looking at the wrong side. I keep looking at myself. Well, it doesn't really matter. Then... Same, same. She's always looking at ourselves. Mm. Is that your stomach? Yeah, because you ate my cereal. <laughs> You went hungry and it's still in the pantry. Oh, there's like this much. No, there's not. I had like this much, so you could eat cereal. Well, I'm not eating it. Well. <laughs> Don't do that. All right, okay, so we met on TikTok. Yep, we really, we really did. <laughs> I was like, yep. I was just like scrolling through TikTok as you do, and he came up, just popped up, and I was like, oh. He was doing like a workout video. I just liked what I saw, so I clicked on his Instagram. What did you like? Yeah, abs and your shoulders. <laughs> clicked on his Instagram, had a bit of a stalk, and it was like his business Instagram that he runs. It was all just about like health and fitness, and he's vegan, and fit. Seems, you know, a bit of fun. <laughs> a bit of fun. So I liked two of his photos, left it at that, and then a couple minutes later... And like, she's lucky that I saw those photos. I have thousands of him people that follow me and I was posting twice a day at this stage because oh. I'm a big dog like that <laughs> uh, a couple minutes later he had a couple liked... minutes that's rubbish it was it literally was I was... I was sitting on my bed promise you then he liked a couple of my photos back so then it... usually that's as far as I would go but I really liked what I saw so I gave him a follow and usually I don't do that first <laughs> I gave him a follow Couple minutes later, I got a follow back, and I was like, "Okay, that's that's all I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it up to him now." And then I put up a story. I just had like this gut feeling that he was gonna like reply to a story, so I put up a story of Prison Break because I was like rewatching it. And what do you know? He replied. All I wanted to know yeah. was how you were watching season five Prison Break. Yeah. That's sure. all I wanted to know. He wanted all of this. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, so then... How did you, how are you watching season I have, four? I have this screenshot on my phone right here. Yeah. No, you said, oh my God, yes, how good is it? Yeah, because like I the just... With praying hands. So I just wanted to know. And I was like, definitely worth the rewatch. And I replied like the next day because I didn't want to seem like too keen. And, well, you did reply at quarter past 12 that night. So I like left it for the night. And I was like, sorry, I was really tired last night. And then... I reacted to one of his stories, and literally from that point on, we talked a shitload. Like, all day, every day. Do we? Yeah. Why would I do that? I don't know. But no, we literally just, like, from then on, we just talked heaps, and kind of just, like, got to know each other. <laughs> you blew <Yeah>. down here. <laughs> and then... I oh, know, I tell my mum everything, so I just like filled her in. And then my mum being my mum started doing some stalking <laughs> and found like all these videos of Jackson and was sending them to me and she was like, Oh he speaks so well and like 
some YouTube videos. It was quite funny, but a little bit stalkerish. But that's my mum. So if you didn't run then, I feel like you'll be alright. You're lucky. <laughs> I spoke for like, I don't know, a few weeks. Discovered obviously that he lived in Adelaide and I was from Melbourne. Kind of just like, I don't know, got more serious, would you say? Well, you asked me, what are we? No. Yes! No! Not, I waited so long for that. Oh, so long? For a week? Fuck off, it was not a week. Was you can ask it? Olivia. We waited so long, because we were like talking all the time, and like, you would say stuff to make it sound like you weren't talking to anyone else. So I was like, well, f like having heart palpitations, like I haven't even met the kid and he's telling me this stuff. Show me the evidence. I'm not going through 10 years ago on Instagram. Just keep going. He made it sound like he wasn't really talking to anyone else. And I wanted to ask, <laughs> what were we? But I was like, that's not, no, that's not a thing. So I like left it for a while. I initiated having a FaceTime or something. Your mum initiated having yeah, a FaceTime. Yeah, she definitely did do that, yeah. Well, I was coaching and then I received a message from Lindy Singleton. My mum. Asking to join a group FaceTime. With my brother and sister. Family FaceTime call. Yeah. Or was it a Zoom call? I think pretty sure it was a Zoom call. Probably. And then it's, I didn't respond for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. And then I get a message from a different page that Lindy has asking if I wanted to join the FaceTime. And I was like, I didn't sorry. know about any of this. Sorry, I was, I'm coaching. End of my and then because he like hadn't replied, we had jumped. Mind you, I was like really sick that day. Was like looking awful. And we hadn't even FaceTimed ourselves. So I'm so glad you didn't answer because I would have freaked out. Just there was like no way I was ever going to do it. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then we decided on a night that we we're going to FaceTime for the first time. I was shit scared. So Olivia, she's like, I'll call you and you got to practice how to pick up the phone. Like, how are you going to oh do it? Oh my God. <laughs> I was so scared. Anyway, and then we were on the phone just chatting and he starts calling me and I was like hyperventilating so I had to like calm myself down <laughs> and answer the phone and I was just like Why don't you hyperventilate anymore when I call you? <laughs> Sorry <laughs> We spoke for like a good few hours that night and I think we just spoke about like everything we had texted about really and just like, you know what I mean? Like, kind of just like got to know each other and then we pretty much called like most nights and stayed up way too late for you yeah, you wouldn't get me doing that now. Yeah, no way. Yeah, and then from that point on, it just kind of got like more serious. And I think it was like not until after <clears throat> we'd FaceTimed a few times, then I asked, what were we? You had just like said all these things where I was like, hey, maybe he's genuinely serious about like seeing where this could go. So me and Liv waited for like the right time to ask like what this was. The right time I was at Adidas working. That time when I, when mm. I asked you. Yeah. Were you? Mm. No, it wasn't night time. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was Because yet. I was sitting in the lounge room with Liv and Michaela having dinner. No, it wasn't. Definitely was later in the night. Um, anyway, but I, I was like, I was like, what are we? What is this? Or something like that. Boy being a boy, like, we didn't expect him to really go into detail and say, like, we're exclusively seeing each other. And we were just waiting for him to be like, oh, like, I don't know, just chatting see where it goes but this one should turns around should have this one turns around and goes Regret. yeah i'd say like we'd <laughs> <laughs> he turns around and he was like yeah i'd say we're exclusively seeing each other my heart almost came out my ass i was i was like well, i haven't even seen this guy met i haven't even met him and he's saying we're exclusive uh, i could be like a fraud i could have been like some catfish like who knows what i could have been he went for it. When the first day he replied to my story was May 3rd. And by this point it was like June-ish. So I reckon it was about a month later. Yeah, because we talked for a week. Ah, uh, sorry. We talked for a month before we FaceTimed. And then we FaceTimed for another month. And then we're talking about, because obviously we were dealing with COVID and stuff. And borders were set to open July 20. So we're like, all right, one of us will, you know, fly oh. over and meet. I wasn't flying. Yes, you were. It was footy season. We've spoken about this. Well, I was going to fly. We were just talking about coming, like meeting each other for the first time, like properly. And it was like waiting for the borders to open. We kind of joked like, oh, if they don't end up opening and Melbourne goes into like a really bad lockdown, I'll just come to Adelaide. Probably jinxed it because it ended up happening. And it was like the night, it was like Melbourne was doing well and all of a sudden they had this outbreak. And we, me and Liv were sitting in the lounge room and on the news were saying we're going to a full lockdown tonight. And we were like, no, like we're not staying here. Liv had been through a lot, hence why she was living with me. 
and then I was kind of going through some like some personal issues at that point and I was like I cannot stay in Melbourne again and not train and work whatever my family like my dad was in Perth mum was in Queensland so I didn't even have anyone in Melbourne really we kind of just looked at each other I mean Liv and were like let's just bite the bullet and go for it so we kind of spoke to you about it and you were all for it and then we kind of just wrote up some letters packed our bags and like literally within 24 hours we were in the car driving here and there was a lot of like Liv saying yes, me saying no, me saying yeah we'll be fine, Liv saying no we can't and it was like a good few hours of like do we do it, do we not. And once we are in the car fully packed with our whole wardrobe we were on our way and it was 10 hour drive and 10? Yeah, to get here it's like 10 hours. It's 8. But, but when we drove, because we had to go through the border. Mm. So we had to go through the border, obviously, and have our border passes and everything. That was so scary. We were at the border for about an hour, and we had no reception or anything. So, like, he knew and my mum knew we'd just gotten to the border. We were, like, waiting in the line, and I tried calling him. There was no reception or anything. So, like, you were freaking out. Well, because you messaged me asking something, and then you didn't respond after that. And I was like... And he was coaching. And I was coaching at the same time. So, like, we weren't replying to him. We weren't replying to my mum. They were, like, calling us, and I was like... We just couldn't do anything. We just we filmed it, but we couldn't talk to anyone, so we just had to wait in line for the cops and stuff. It was so scary. We were like, we're going to get turned back. And we saw one car get turned back, but everyone was going through fine. Because it was like the night before the border was shutting. So we were like sitting in the border, waiting to get through. Um, we got up the front, and the cop we had was a bit brutal. And he like took our forms... Yeah, and then he kind of came back with our forms. He's like, you realise, like, this is not essential. And we were like, here it is. He's going to tell us to turn around. He goes, just means you're going to have to quarantine for two weeks, which we'd already thought we would have to anyway, regardless. And we were, like, so happy with that. We're like, oh, yeah, that's totally fine. Like, trying not to be, like, all excited. And just was like, yep, cool. Just quarantine at your address and then you're fine. And we were like, what the heck? We got through. We didn't have reception for another, like, 10, 20 minutes. And so it'd been, like, an hour and a half. Finally got reception and called you while you were coaching. We're like, we're through. We got through. And we had nothing booked. Absolutely nothing. We had planned to sleep in the car that night. And we'd booked an Airbnb and then it got cancelled, like, an hour later. So we're two hours away from getting to Adelaide. It's about 9 o'clock or something at night. We finally found an Airbnb that we were able to check into like that night because we were going to get into Adelaide at, like 10 o'clock. And so he messaged and was like, I can bring you the key at 11. And we're like, yeah, we'll take it. And we had to book it for obviously two weeks of our quarantine. Then we ended up just booking it for a month because we just had no cheap. idea. Yeah, it was cheaper and we didn't know what we were ha like. We had no plans. It was like go on quarantine and, and then what? <laughs> so we were like going to meet this mystery boy who said we're exclusively seeing each other after a month. And just like see what happens. So so then we checked in and did our two weeks of quarantine, which was probably harder because we were in the state, the same state, like half an hour from each other, but couldn't see each other. Mm. So we're back to the FaceTimes. Just kind of me and Liv were trying to plan what the hell we were going to do in Adelaide and like whether we would start looking for work or whether we were just going to be here for a bit and then go back home. So we were all just no plans. Obviously the first night we came out of quarantine, I met him for the first time and I'll put the video over here <laughs> um and it was like i don't know it was just really surreal like seeing you in person it was kind of like a movie moment it really just like picked me up kissed me and i kind of just knew at that moment <laughs> amazing best day of my life well say it a bit more <laughs> happily yes i was the best anyway whatever so then we met and what did we do? Well, I was working a lot. Yeah, he was working a lot. Kind of would just come around after work or training, watch a movie. And yeah, just get to know each other. We didn't really go on a first date for like ages. Ages, ages. Until I was like, we should probably like go out for dinner or something. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I guess you were just really busy and I was kind of just finding my feet. And then I obviously found work. Obviously fell in love with Adelaide and fell in love with each other. And then yeah, I don't know, met your family. And it kind of was just history from there but the rest is history the rest is history and because we moved start of july and it was kind of just getting used to like being around each other and we kind of already knew so much about each other it was just like being together <laughs> yeah so it was just like being around each other and i don't know getting to know each other on an in-person level <laughs> rather than over the phone and then he made it official on the 3rd of August. 
took me to the beach and had like a little setup with like Duna movie chocolates candles that he tried to light it didn't quite work. too windy <laughs> very windy but it was so beautiful and it was like at night time it was on the 2nd of august and we we're there watching movie and stuff on the beach and then second yeah because then you waited till midnight i didn't even remember did i yeah it was right after midnight and then because obviously like we met on like tiktok so he made a tiktok of like our past Three months. Three months together. And at the end, it was really cute. Maybe I'll put it up here. <laughs> and then at the end, he asked if I would be his girlfriend. And I was really, really cute. And I said no. That's why I was still here. <laughs> no, and then I said yes. And now, what month are we in? May. May. So it's been over... Holy shit. It's been a year since we met. Yeah. Fuck. And it's almost been a year since I moved here. Not so... since we met. No, since we... Met online on TikTok. Yeah. Since we started talking, it's been over a year. It's almost been a year since I moved, and then it'll be our one year anniversary. You know this. You know this. Wow, that's cute. Anyway, so yeah, like it's been a big, crazy journey, but wouldn't change it. To be honest, I like after my past relationship, I didn't think I'd ever find this guy or anyone like him, and. To be, to be completely honest with you, I manifested the shit out of you. That is weird. <laughs> Not you, like obviously I didn't know you. I just knew I wanted to be with someone who was like fit and healthy, was really into their fitness like me and their health and he was vegan so that was just a bit of a bonus. You play footy which was like a big tick box. Um, your Aussie is another big tick box. So I don't know, I just like... Even my, I used to write it down, I used to tell my mom that's just what I wanted in a person and like with good values and stuff. So I found one and I, and I didn't let him go. <laughs> didn't have a choice. <laughs> He's so clingy, it's ridiculous. <laughs> You're so funny. Did you manifest me though? Mm, no. <laughs> Do you want me to be honest or not? Yeah, and now we're here. So that was, yeah, that's all pretty much how we met. And then I obviously moved in July and we stayed in two Airbnbs for like, about 10 weeks. So we had two different ones. And then it was like kind of at that point where we just were happy to just move in together. We were looking for houses. We applied for a few before we got one. Purely because he's obviously a personal trainer and we were looking for something big enough to have the gym set up in the garage. That took a while, but when we landed one, it was really, really good. Unfortunately, we had a lot of issues there with the neighbour and... His training. We were in there for about six or seven months after we'd signed a 12 month lease. Luckily enough, our agent and landlord were amazing and we got to break the lease because of what we're going through. Again, we were applying for like a few houses before we landed this house and we love it. Good gym set up downstairs, we have good neighbours. So we've been in this house for a month. Probably six weeks. Yeah, now. probably six weeks now. So yeah. Moved in together and that, like, we haven't had any issues. It was just like, it just Apart felt Apart from normal. Tori's farting, we haven't had any issues. And her loud eating, we haven't had any issues. You eat louder than me. No yes. way, I'm recording you next time. Alright, I'm recording you. I put my headphones in the other day because you were irritated. Our neighbours could hear you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in was just like, felt normal. Yeah, we've had no real issues. It's just been really smooth sailing, which is a little bit scary, but... Wait for our first fight. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like nothing's Senorita. been nothing's been forced, it's been very smooth sailing. We're both just focusing on our businesses and growing as a couple and some exciting things together. But yeah. Just wanted to say that, you know, if you've been through a heartbreak, just Stay positive because they come when they're least expected. So don't go hunting for it because it might just pop up on your TikTok. <laughs> anyway, I have this game that Jackson's cousin got us. So I was just like, may as well just whip it out because I'm going to whip your ass. All right. <laughs> what did I wear on our first date? <laughs> when what even was I our first date? I don't know. We haven't had one yet. No, so we did at Seymour's. That was our first dinner date. Oh, mate. I could not tell you. Neither could I. <laughs> Where's my star sign? Come on! I know it, I do know it. 
It starts with an S. Yes. <laughs> Scorp. No. No. Sagittarius. Yeah. Yes. What's my weirdest quirk? Um, your farts. Non-stop, but they don't smell. <laughs> what is my favourite colour? <laughs> Green. What? Mm. <laughs> Anywhere close. Yellow. Uh. Pink. Your favourite colour is pink. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that yes, one. Yes, I do. No, it's pink. You don't get it. I just have mental blank. You had two options. What is my favourite animal? Um, a staffy. No, I was going to say dog, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. What colour is my toothbrush? <laughs> oh, the door's closed. <laughs> what the f Again, just farted, but it won't smell. Keep it in your mouth. <laughs> Disgusting you are. So what colour is um, it? Um, green. No. Ah. Two one, I'm winning. Okay. What do I like most about myself? Used to be your ass. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's true. I'm going to say your ass. Yeah, used to be. What so would I, I get a point for that or what? Yeah. Three one. What would I most likely end up in jail for? Losing your license. That's so true. <laughs> Uh, For what's the thing I do that would be most likely to go viral? A handstand. Oh, I wasn't thinking that, but oh. what were you inside? I was thinking <laughs> farting. <laughs> Her mind is just on farting at the moment. What's re what was my worst subject in school? Oh, nothing, because you got a ninety-four point two eight up. Um, have to be something that like I don't know. You were probably good at everything. As in worse, as in like one that you're bad at or one that you didn't like? I'm bad at. I feel like you would've been, you're good at maths. I feel like you would've been good at English and science because then you did like... In what year? Any year. Did you do like history? Oh, I want to say like English or history. The final answer? History. <laughs> if you say English, I'll lose it. Nah, technology. Oh yeah, you're shit at technology. Woodwork. Oh, I was the bomb at woodwork. What type of pizza would I most likely order? The mushroom one from Chico's. Yeah, fine, I'll give you that for you. What is my favourite tool? Like, in building stuff, or... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I hate it. The drill? I just hate, like, as I just said before, my worst performing subject was, like, woodwork and technology. Doesn't even know how to use an Allen key. A hammer. No, I would use an electric one. <laughs> A screw! You said a hammer. Four two. What is my perfect pizza topping? Pineapple. Yes. What is the first five, movie we five, saw together? Five two. <laughs> Update the scoreboard. Five. What is the first movie we saw together? Uh, we didn't watch a full movie for a very long time. Yeah, but Do you I, know? I remember the, the movie we first watched together. I don't remember. Was that our first Airbnb? Still don't remember. She's the man. Still don't know <laughs> <laughs> the one where she turns. Into a boy so she can play soccer in the boys team. What is my favourite movie? Have we watched it? I don't think we have together because you... Oh, well, so how am I supposed to... you've seen it. I've seen it. There's two. Who's my favourite actor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We watch, watch a lot of The Rock. What was your name on my phone? Oh, Michael B. Jordan. What movie? <laughs> Creed. Ah, it's Rookie. Very big Rookie. Ah, the rocky ones. fine, five two. This is my favourite beer. You hate beer, none. No, you got to answer one. No, you don't like it. Don't trick me with this question. <laughs> you hate all beer. Yes, but if I would, if there was choices, <laughs> there was choices, then I would. A Corona. Pick, yes, five three. <clears throat> um, what is my favourite TV show ever? All American. All American. Hmm. Yeah, fine, I'll give you that. What were you thinking? Well, I was thinking when I was younger. Well, you didn't specify. <laughs> didn't specify, yeah, fine. Five, four. Uh, what TV show will I never watch? Mm, Friends. Well, I was thinking something else, but okay, it's um, probably another one. On Netflix or like on TV? Uh, TV. Like Home and Away? I don't know. Married at First Sight. Oh, I got that right. <laughs> Why? How? Well, I said Friends and you said yeah, that would be one. <laughs> so what are you on? Five five. Five five. Yeah. 
That is so bullshit. What is my bra size? <laughs> I would have a bigger bra size than you. <laughs> but I still have one. So what is it? What's the lowest one? <laughs> I don't know what the lowest one is. A? Well, a cup, so the cup size is like A, B, C, D, and then the like strap size is like 8, 10, 12. Oh, you're definitely an A, 8. I'm an A, but I'm a 10 because so I got broader shoulders. Oh, bullshit! I got half a point, five and a half. Oh, where's my shoe size? You bought uh, my shoe, so you should know this. Yeah, you're a nine. Would I rather spend an evening in with you or a night out with oh, you? Oh, definitely with me. They're both with you, but like oh, in what? or out? Uh, in. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Easy questions. What's my favourite song ever? Why you always in a mood, fuck around like a brand new. Yeah, well, yeah, I wouldn't really say I have a favourite song ever, but you can count that. That's yeah, because you love that song. Where's my favourite place in the world? Noosa. Yeah. He hasn't been overseas, guys. No. Do I prefer summer or winter? Summer. It's a f shit show! How can you give her three like that? You're an eight. Okay, five, quick fire round. Who snores the loudest? You, <laughs> definitely. Who's more likely to talk in their sleep? You, definitely. <laughs> Who's the earlier riser? Me. Who's more likely to hit the snooze button on the alarm multiple times? You. Who farts more? Me. <laughs> Who is more likely to do a bungee jump? Definitely me. You should scared. Who's better at singing in the shower or public? Me. Have you heard my voice? Debatable. Who would win a dance off? You. Well, who spends more time on their phone? You. Who's more likely to start a fight? You. <laughs> Who's more likely to finish a fight? Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> that is not true. Go. Who said I love you first? Me! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the better kisser? Actually, I... Me. <laughs> <laughs> when on back on the I love you. So he... Like, asked me to be his girlfriend, and then a couple seconds later, I said I loved him. Whatever. Who's the tidiest at home? Me. Who is the best cook? You. Who is most likely to deal with a spider? You. Who's more likely to overspend on pointless items? You. Who's more likely to save all their money? Me. Who's the clumsier one? You. <laughs> it's pretty even. Yeah, it's okay. Who's the chattier one? You. Who's the funnier one? Me. Me. Who would most likely end up in jail? Me. Who would most likely go viral? Me. Who is the better driver? Me. Oh shit! <laughs> Who's the cleaner one? You. Who's the more dramatic one? You. Who's the more stubborn one? You. Who's the more organized one? Me. Oh bullshit! Bullshit! Who's the sportier one? Me. Bullshit! <laughs> Who has the most exes? Tori. <laughs> Who is better at planning dates? Mm, we're both pretty good, I reckon. Who has the pants in the relationship? Definitely me. <laughs> that is the biggest load of shit you can never make a decision ever. Ever! Doesn't mean I don't wear the pants. Who's better at following directions? You. I Who could the talk their way out of a speeding ticket? Me! You got plenty of practice. <laughs> Who's in control of the music when we're on the road? Me! More likely to arrive late in an important meeting. You! Definitely Who's every time. Me? Who's better at giving presents? Pretty sure that thing I right bought him there. an Apple Watch that he doesn't f***ing use. Obviously, so obviously you're not good at buying presents then. <laughs> I'm selling it. Who has more clothes? Uh, you. Who has more shoes? Me. By a lot. Who's more stylish? Me. Who's the first to say sorry? You. Emma? You never say so. So now we can wrap this up. You can go edit it. I can go eat some of my cereal. That's yeah, not I'm there. I'm hungry. I can have some. What's the time? Is it lunchtime? 10 it's only 10.44. Anyway, guys, so that's a little bit. <laughs> Stop. A little bit, little bit of an insight of how we met. So don't, don't lose hope, guys. Just keep scrolling through your TikTok and something might surprise you. <laughs> And if they say they're exclusive, run. No, I'm joking. Ah. Still finding those A <laughs> cup tents. Yeah, right. I have no boobs. I get it. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Me. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and had a bit of a laugh. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel because we've got some fun videos on the way. Peace! No. <laughs>
don't get kisses when you're being naughty today. I'm not being naughty, you're just crummy. No, 